The Behringer X32 and Midas M32 consoles are quickly becoming a flagship leader in both the live and studio world. They are found anywhere from schools, home studios, churches, and conference centers, all the way up to big festivals and major touring acts. They are great for mixing live bands, spoken word, solo musicians, theatrical performances, you name it, as well as any sort of multi-track application. A common function that is used in nearly all of these applications is using the USB to aux input feature. This feature allows you to connect your computer to the console via a USB cable where you can use it to play iTunes or any other music from your computer. This same connection allows you to multi-track record and or playback tracks through your console. Today I'm going to show you how to route iTunes through aux input 1 and 2 via the USB cable. To get started, you'll need to go to the Routing tab. As you look in at the menu here, you'll see that it chooses where to route your inputs, beginning at inputs 1 through 8, going to 9 through 16, 17 through 24, 25 through 32, and aux in remap. You'll notice here that it says local inputs, as well as AES50A and AES50B. The local inputs are the inputs located on your console that are, have physical hardware ins and outs. The AES-A and AES-B are for hooking into a digital snake or for networking with additional consoles. For the purposes of routing music or iTunes through your aux inputs, we'll go over to the aux in remap menu. You'll toggle up and down and get to where it says card input 1 through 2 and then you will press down on the button here selecting that as your option. After you've set the routing you'll need to come over to the side where you will find a button that says aux in. If you look closer at the channel strips here you'll see it says aux in 1 and aux in 2. Both of these are linked. You'll also see where it says CO1 and CO2, which means that it's reading from the USB sound card. That means that your routing is set. Next, you will need to press play on whatever your playback source is, in this case, iTunes. You'll now see metering show up onto your channel strips here. That will be your input signal. Now that you have input signal, you need to bring up your master fader. You have now successfully routed iTunes through your console.